This is where the fastest growing segment of the aerospace industry meets. Consumers, engineers, and sales forces converge for a three-day intensive trade show on unmanned vehicle systems or drones. There's a very different dynamic in terms of the, the commercial market uh, and the public safety market than there is in dealing with the military. The Teal Group recently completed a survey that found the U.S. will account for two-thirds of the global UAV technology in 10 years, with $11 billion in annual sales. If, and some say it's a big if, the privacy and safety issues are resolved for integration of drones into commercial airspace, UAVs will be the next explosive growth industry. Local police departments, farmers, utilities, and others want access to inexpensive drones for aerial views. And now even piloting the platform is like plotting a GPS course. So for this aircraft, if you want to change the speed, it's a button push. In the same way, if you want to change the height of the aircraft, again, dial in the specific height you want to, you want to achieve, push a button, and the aircraft will fly to that height. Boeing markets drones to the military and wants to be part of the domestic market. We want to be, make sure that we're a proactive part of the conversation and that when this does happen, that we're doing it as safely and efficiently as possible. One major hurdle that grounds unmanned flyers is sense and avoid technology, so drones don't run into passenger planes. Sense and avoid programs are still research. The FAA will hold the line on flight rules until such systems are available. The domestic UAV industry may stumble on privacy and technology issues or soon join the thousands of daily manned flights across the country. Tom Ritchie, Associated Press.